Good morning, YouTube family and friends. Welcome back to another daily scuttlebutt with Ivy's family factotum. So, here I am, day two of the new schedule. Uh, I'm pretty sure people drive by my truck because I come over here and I, I sit in the parking lot of the grocery store here in town. I always try to come out here, you know, to the end. That way I'm not taking up, like, any close parking spots. But it, it's still one of those that, you know, it, you look weird sitting in a vehicle, sitting there talking to your phone. But I don't care. <laughs> still drinking my coffee. So I got the little one off school. Woke up a little late this morning. Later than usual. Just... I haven't been sleeping good because my shoulder. But because uh, I got that, it's a calcification deposit that's in my shoulder. And it's, it's right, uh, I don't know, it's basically because you have the ball, right? And then that, that plate that sits on there, basically right at the end of that plate is where, where it's at. And it's probably about, I don't know half the size of a golf ball maybe maybe a little maybe a little smaller than that um but it, whenever it flares up it just i get a lot of pain and i i do have medication for it and you know i tried to ice you know to get the the flaring to go down and it does help but it's it's not constant. So I do have, you know, exercises like, cause whenever I went to physical therapy, that did help a lot, you know, so there's certain, you know, exercises that I can do to, to help with that, the pain, but it's for one, you know, getting, I mean, I, I can make time. So anyone that says, I don't got time to do that. Well, I can make time because I ain't got nothing better to do. But I do have stuff better to do. <laughs> that is, that's the other, the other thing, right? So, trying to get, you know, moved onto our property. So I'm suffering in, in the process of trying to get us moved over there. Because I've... I don't want to stop and, and make time, which I know you should always make time for yourself to, to be able to heal and be able to all those things. Cause obviously if I'm broken, how am I going to work? Right. Which I know all that. I've, I told myself that I'm so glad it's that. Uh, Cause she's always broken, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I'll be okay. It's, I'm just, I hurt. Did not sleep well. My arm hurts. So what's on the docket today? Oh, yeah, it's so early. Oh, oh. Sun's barely coming up. <clears throat> so we try to get up at 6.30 every day. Even on weekends, we still get up early. Earlier than I would, I would like to get up. And, uh, wow, I don't know what that is. Something on that truck. Crazy. Looks like some big, ginormous electrical something. Um. Anyway, whew, jump jumping out, squirreling, I guess. Or. What does what it call it? It's called mel melling. <laughs> Get that squirrel brain. But yeah, the thing for today is we need, because we still have a lot of stuff that is in um, my buddy's place. So he has that, like that shipping container, right? So we have not a lot, but there's there's enough stuff that's in there that, it's going to take at least two trips in the truck. Obviously, I could throw everything onto the trailer, but then I got to 
figure out how to secure all the stuff to the trailer and then be able to get the trailer onto the property. So right now, because we, I still need to go get a load, at least one or two loads of rock just in the back of this truck from the pile to put over onto the culvert, you know, just cause it's still going to be a bump, you know, that we're going to have to drive over, but I'm still trying to get that support, right? The support on that. Um, to make it easier to drive over to where we're not, for one, collapsing the top of it because it doesn't have that, that packed material around there. And, um, cause, it, and I'm going to have to either one, borrow a tractor from somebody or two, actually have, you know, dirt brought in. You know, in, in smaller quantities into like a smaller dump truck to, to dump onto that driveway and then spread it out. Um, because trying to do all that, you know, to have it dumped over in the front of the property, then shoveled into the back of my truck, then brought it over and try to do that throughout that whole area of that driveway is going to be way too much by hand. I mean, yeah, I can do it, but it's going to, it would take me like an entire month and I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> not trying to do that. That that's something that you know, projects like that, you know, it's like, oh, they used to do that back in the day. Well yeah, back in the day you used to have a whole community of people, you know, that would come and and do it. You know, or like even in like an Amish community, you know, to where they might not have equipment. They do a lot of stuff by hand. Well, yeah, that's an entire community. There's a lot of hands make great work. Well, right now it's me and Gladys. We have family coming. So actually here within a couple of weeks, uh, mom and dad are coming up from Texas. They're going to come check out the property and, and such. And, uh, yeah, they, I think they finally got the, the property sold. That they're waiting on. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, they're going to come up and check out property and, and such. And uh, I think Dad actually found a side by side that they're going to bring up. So that, that'd be cool. Uh, I, don't, I don't know all the, the details on that, if he's able to get it or not. I don't know if they're looking at it. Oh, but that would definitely help. So, but yeah, so that, that's kind of like the, the goal for today is to get the, the culvert somewhat passable, right? To get it drivable over the top of it. It's, it's not to where it's going to be completely covered the way I want. The, the, the entire driveway is not going to be covered the way I want, but we're going to make it passable because I'm also trying to get mom's trailer the food trailer moved over uh, we did have rain last night that doesn't help that wasn't on the weather report like I didn't see anything about rain until Friday like we weren't supposed to have any type of rain that I knew of until this Friday and it rained a lot last night it was coming down. <sighs> so that kind of doesn't help. <laughs> Whenever you're trying to to move stuff, you know, into an area that has mud, you, you really don't need the rain. You need it to be not rainy. Yeah, not rainy at all. Because I need stuff to dry out. Um, this weekend, I am trying to get the the trailer moved this weekend. So my, cause I, I'm trying to have my buddy help me uh, move the trailer. Because for one, he's a professional truck driver. I know that he would be able to back the trailer in a hell of a lot better than I could. Probably on a first try. 
it would probably take me a, a couple of a... <laughs> yes, and that's the official sound of how that goes. But trying to get it over there this weekend, um, but they got a lot of plans this weekend, you know, for birthdays and, and such. So it might not happen this week. If it does, it has to happen early. But that's also going to be depending because it's supposed to rain Friday. That's not going to help. So when you're, and like this is getting into the wet season, right? Spring, which is, I think the wet season here started early as heck because it's, it's been raining and raining and raining freaking nonstop for the last couple months even even with all the snow it's like well we didn't have a lot of snow but it basically went straight from snow to rain and it just it hasn't let up it, it rains at least once to twice every week every week and i need it to dry out i need it to dry so i can get stuff done so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that is the, the plan for today. And with this, right? So you kind of saw the video from yesterday. I'd, I'd used, it's a program that's on my phone. It's called InShot. It does okay, but I don't like the the resulting video. So, it, cause it gives it the, like the blurred bars and all that and I've went in there, I've tried to figure out how to get that away, how to get that out, and I haven't figured it out. Uh, I did set it to the, the specific resolution for 4K video because I record in a 4K. Um, I normally record in 4K60, which if you guys don't understand what that is, it's just the, the frame rate. Um, <clears throat> so it, it, it kind of gets, it, it's, it's supposed to be a, a smoother video. Right in 4K, obviously it's it's considered high def, it's super high definition. Um, but yeah, it's I don't I don't know. I just don't like the way that it turns out because all the rest of my videos, whenever I do just this without having to put it through the program, it it turns out to me like a regular 4K video, and. The thing with that is, whenever I record with the, the forward-facing camera on my phone, I I have to stay under 19 minutes. So, from now on, I'm going to do my best to stay under 19 minutes. This includes story times or anything that I'm going to be doing. So, if I get to the point where I'm like, all right, I got to go, then that's because I'm trying to keep it under 19 minutes. But... I also wanted to have the videos, you know, be long because for those of you that don't know, right, I'm not monetized on any of the videos on any of my channels, which I only got two channels, this one and the main one, but you have to have a minimum of eight, eight minute video to, cause that kind of goes along with like the ads and stuff like that, which y'all, right, the subscribers watching the ads sharing the videos, giving the thumbs up. That's all the things that, that helps with the algorithm. And that's all the things that helps get that person paid, right? You have to watch the ad. The more of that ad that you watch, the more that person gets paid. That's how YouTubers get paid is by you watching the ads and the, the full length of the video, right? It goes with the watch hours, the amount of time that you watch the ads, uh, if you click on any of the ads, that, that also helps because now you're, you are uh, utilizing that video to, to go to that, that revenue and stuff like that. So, you know, you, um, that's how you're helping that person whenever you're watching their video. Uh, leaving a comment, right? I know some people, like, my mom has an issue. She cannot leave comments on videos. And I know that you, because you can watch YouTube videos without having an account, but you can't interact, right? You can do, like, the thumbs up and stuff like that, but you, 
I, I know that you have to have an account to be able to comment. And she does. She has an account. And she's done all those things, but she still can't leave a comment. And I don't, I've tried looking into it and I don't, I don't know. It's, it's almost to a point where like she would need to get rid of that, that YouTube account and, and start over again. So if you guys know anything on that, let me know down in the comments below. Um, or you can even shoot me an email to what I could do. Some of the things I can do to, to get her account fixed where she can leave comments. Uh, sun's starting to peek up. You can see it oh, glowing. I'm starting to glow. <laughs> and yeah, I need to get over to the property, start spreading some rocks, get it passable over the culvert. Because once uh, Gladys and the little one are done with their schoolwork, um, they're going to hop in the truck and start bringing stuff over that's going to go into the tent. And, um, and such, and if it's dry enough to where I can get the mom's trailer in, then I also am going to do that. So, but for now, it's get over to the property and start moving some rocks and, and such. And, uh, it's just, it's Tuesday. Yeah. Just another day closer. <laughs> But, all right, y'all. So, definitely appreciate you. And if you made it this far and you're not subscribed, I greatly appreciate that. Also, check out our main channel over at Ivy's Family Factotum if you are not subscribed there. It's greatly appreciated. I always try to put those links down in the description. It might not happen right away, but I normally try to go in there at least uh, once a week just to get stuff updated, put it into a playlist, yada, yada, yada. So, <clears throat> definitely greatly appreciate that. Go check those out. And last but not least, remember to always thank a veteran at every chance you get, not only on Veterans Day. And we'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.